Sally That Girl in the Kitchen. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Sally That Girl in the Kitchen. In today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make Sephardic style celery and carrots, also known as apio con zanahoria. This is a classic Turkish Sephardic dish that has been made for generations, but classically, a lot of people used to use celeriac, in other words, the root of the celery to make this recipe. But in my household, both by my grandmother and my mom, they both made it using the actual celery stock. And that's how I grew up eating it and loving it. And it is delicious, both warm or cold out of the refrigerator as like a refreshing salad. It is incredible, lemony and delicious. So that's how I'm going to teach you how to make it today. So let's not wait another second and let's get started. For today's recipe, you will need 10 medium sized celery stalks, around six inches in length each, two large carrots, three large lemons, one cup of water, a quarter cup of olive oil, a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of sugar. You will also need a cutting board and a knife, a vegetable peeler, a bowl or a cup for your lemon juice, some wet measuring cups, some measuring spoons, and something to stir with such as a serving spoon. And finally, you will need a medium sized pot with a lid. So now that we have all of our ingredients and tools together, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is squeeze your lemons and of course, remove any seeds. I am using three large lemons for this recipe because I like my apio con zanahoria nice and tart. I like a really nice sour kick. But if you're afraid of too much tartness, then of course you can cut back a little on the lemon and you can start with two lemons, but I really like it sour, so I go for three. Now set your fresh lemon juice aside and bring over your carrots. And then of course you wanna trim the edges and peel them well with your vegetable peeler. Then once your carrots have been peeled, you just wanna cut them up into rounds. Then what I do is just set those aside for a moment so I can reuse my cutting board to cut my celery. Now bring over your celery and trim off any leaves or any dry ends. My pieces ended up being about six inches in length each, so I decided on 10 pieces of celery. So now just cut your celery up into pieces as shown. I'll show you up close what your celery and carrots should look like. I like to say that the celery looks like little pieces of macaroni once you've cut them into the right size. And then of course, for our carrots, we just want some rounds. Of course, they're not gonna all be the same exact size because of the natural shape of the carrot, but it's fine. You don't want them super thin, but you don't want them super thick either. So now just bring over your celery and add it right into your pot on your stove. And then you're going to do the same thing with your carrots, just add them right into the pot. Now measure out your water and add it right on top of your vegetables. And now measure out your olive oil and add that. And then bring over that fresh squeezed lemon juice and we're gonna add it right in. Then measure out your salt and add it. Then do the same with the sugar and add it to the pot. And then just grab your spoon and you're going to give it all a nice stir. We just wanna bring the salt and the sugar together with the lemon and the water and just mix it all together with those beautiful vegetables. So once you've given the mixture a good stir, you wanna turn your stove on to medium heat. 
Now, what we wanna do is watch the mixture for a few minutes until the mixture starts to simmer. And then once it is simmering, then you wanna give your mixture another good stir just to be sure that you've brought all of those ingredients together. And then you wanna put your lid on your pot. Now you're going to turn your temperature down and you can use low, but if you have a simmer setting, then put it on a medium simmer. If not, then low is fine. And then you just wanna allow your vegetables to gently cook. Every few minutes, you wanna take off your lid and you wanna give it another stir and just make sure that it is simmering gently and then put your lid right back on. The whole process should take 20 minutes. You're looking for your vegetables to gently cook in this delicious olive oil and lemon, and you want them to absorb those amazing flavors, but we still want our vegetables to remain with a touch of a bite. We don't want mushy vegetables. We want them to still be somewhat firm. So 20 minutes should do it. Now, after 20 minutes, just turn off your stove and your apio con zanahoria is cooked. It is delicious, it's simmering beautifully, and it is ready. The vegetables are still somewhat firm, and that's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. They hold up and they don't break apart, but they have absorbed those delicious flavors, and they are ready. So now all that is left to do is serve your apio con zanahoria into a serving dish. Now, as I said earlier, this can be served hot or warm and of course it can be served room temperature and it can be served cold my favorite way to eat it is cold straight out of the refrigerator as a little side salad a little side vegetable that is just refreshing with that delicious citrus it's tart and it is absolutely delicious and super refreshing when served cold but of course it's also incredibly delicious served warm as a warm vegetable side dish but it is definitely a citrusy delicious side like nothing you've ever tried so get ready for a treat so i'm not going to wait to put this in the refrigerator and taste it i'm going to taste it just as is because as i said it's also incredibly delicious when served warm so i am going to take advantage and take a taste see how the carrot is still somewhat firm but it is perfectly cooked and the same goes for the celery it is cooked without being mushy it is exactly as we want it we want it to have a little bit of a bite and of course it's going to have quite a kick with that delicious lemon and olive oil that it's been simmering in mm, it is perfect that little touch of sugar that we add really balances out the citrus and it is just absolutely delicious and different and refreshing it is so tasty i need to have another bite wow look at how beautiful that is absolutely delicious wow i love it it's really one of my favorite vegetable sides and it is so different that you really need to try it. And I'm gonna pop it in the refrigerator so that I can enjoy it later cold as I really, really love it right out of the fridge. So how incredibly delicious does this look? They are so tasty and that lemony flavor that runs through them is incredible. The video does not do it justice because until you try this with its just lemony tang, you are not gonna believe how delicious this is. It looks so simple, just celery and carrots, but the way we cook them in that delicious lemony sauce, 
really makes them special and you are going to love them. Trust me. No, better yet, don't trust me. You're going to have to try to make this recipe yourself. And of course, if you've enjoyed today's recipe, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Sharing really helps my channel, so I really appreciate when you share my videos. And of course, if you're not already following Sally That Girl in the Kitchen on social media, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, and as Sally That Girl FL on TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitter. And if you haven't already done so, please remember to subscribe to my channel and to touch that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on a single delicious, tangy, yummy recipe that I have planned for you. See you next time. Sally That Girl in the Kitchen.